Hi guys, welcome back to another Algorand video. Today we're going to be doing a more in-depth dive into uh, a specific uh, Algorand standard asset here on the Yieldly, uh, on the Yieldly platform in the ecosystem. And I felt the need to make this video for a couple different reasons. Uh, <clears throat> depending on where you got started in the game, you might be in Yieldly uh, and you have the Relio uh, uh, basically LP pool that's coming to a close in a couple of days a few days here uh, and you might be wondering um, you know what are the differences here what else do I do um, what are some of the differences between the three different varieties of Relio out there I'm gonna go in and basically I've done some uh, research here we're gonna go through the white papers in a little bit more detail so what is Relio first of all uh, this is a project on Algorand um, and it involves digital issuance of investment in P2P tra uh, trading platforms leveraging blockchain technology in order to unlock value and movement within the private equity landscape uh, the Relio platform provides an easy to use customized experience that allows for frictionless and socially engaged private marketplaces they have a stated goal to capture the private investment marketplace with disruptive technology given this market's high friction and lack of transparency illiquidity and complicated regulatory environment and uh, in their white papers they have a target of you know this entire sector is approximately a seven trillion dollar uh, sector when we consider real estate uh, really really ASAs now here is the uh, point of this video there are three different flavors if you will of Relio that you can uh, get I do just want to say to Relio is uh, primarily on Algorand however it is on other blockchains as well too um, and you can also find it on Uniswap but when you are going through and looking uh, basically through uh, this you'll see the Rio RIO token uh, you can see the ASA there you will see the RUSD token uh, and the Relio network token which is RST so what are the differences of these uh, some of these pools might be coming to a close or if we're looking to reallocate funds because maybe we're not getting the yields we're looking for um, hopefully this video will clear up exactly the intended uses uh, of these tokens so the roles of these tokens now these capture, uh, these are the value capture in the real, the Relio ecostates happens through tokenizing assets and bringing them onto the platform. So asset issuers pay fees in RIO, which is the network uh, layer of that, and node operators in, are rewarded in RIO for validating transactions. Market makers adding liquidity to the ecosystem also rewarded in RIO. Uh, this is all information that you can take from page 25 of the white papers. Uh, the main value exchange happens between investors and asset issuers owners and this has to deal with how the company is actually structured um, and how they're uh, doing what they're saying that they're doing. Another, A number of other actors must do their part to maintain a healthy ecosystem by using a native currency we enable the value creation of the whole network to be represented by a single programmable currency. Users can stake RIO to become traders on Relio X. Relio X <clears throat> is Relio's uh, DEX, if you will. This is something that you can go to their website, you can create an account, um, you can go through the Know Your Customer uh, authentication process. Uh, you can burn RIO to become market makers or stake their RIO with a member organization of the Relio network to earn block rewards. Added value in the ecosystem flows from issuers who tokenize assets on the platform. At the same time, market makers decrease total token supply and increase liquidity in the ecosystem. Uh, from page 25. The Relio network LTD RST token. This is the this is the first variety. This is issued as the security token and represents actual ownership of the Relio ecosystem. The Relio security token, the RST, represents an investment into the platform and the ecosystem and offers revenue stream in the form of profit share. So holders of over 10,000 RST can also run nodes on the Relio network and validate transactions while earning block rewards and additional re revenues from issuance paid out in RIO. So very important to note um, the security versus the network rewards or the actual operating component of this. 
Uh, the RST folk, uh, token fund will own 100% of the Realio technology platform and network and have a maximum supply of 50 million RST tokens. Half of those, or approximately 25 million RST, will be issued to the entity that provided all of the equity funding towards the development of the platform to date, which is controlled by the founder. So it is 50 tokenomics, 50% founder owned, and 4.75 million RST allocated to the individual team members and advisors. The remaining 20 million tokens are sold out multiple rounds via private offerings, including bonus rounds. Um, moving on to RIO. So RIO is the cryptocurrency and keyword, the utility token for the Realio network and the platform main differentiator right here. The main supply of RIO will never exceed 100 million. The initial circulating supply of 70 million RIO issued during the airdrop will be the total supply until block rewards, market maker rewards begin distribution on the Realio network. Platform fees for tokenizing and trading will be paid in RIO. There will not be any trading fees for market makers on Realio X, while fees for market makers are currently calculated at 0.1% of the trade's value. A peer-to-peer -peer network market makers will earn 100% of all trading fees paid by market makers. And this is page 23 of the white paper. Now, from a regulatory perspective, because this is really this is really important. This is why this product is a really good ASA to look at here. In my opinion, is one of the better projects that you could be um, choosing to look at when you're trying to figure out what do I do, how do I explore this Algorand ecosystem more. Um, they have a regulatory framework here. They understand the distinction between securities and between um, RIO designed and issued to exist outside of the definition of a security. This is great. They're already forward thinking. They're uh, playing nice, if you will. So for RIO tokens, recipients are receiving tokens for use on a functional platform and not as a speculative asset and should not have reasonable expectations of profits since the tokens are not expected to appreciate in value. This is for RIO. Keep in mind, this is, this is the gas. This is the network layer of this. Um, if they do happen to appreciate increase in value due to speculative trading, by unrelated third parties on exchange, that increase in value will not be a result of the efforts of management. So keep that in mind. RIO was not designed to moon. It is not that if you are looking for a security type of an, uh, an investment in this, which this is not investment advice, but this clearly states here that this is a utility token. It is not a security. It is not an investment. Um, the investment would be the RST, which we looked at in the prior video. Um, in terms of utility value, RIO will be utilized on the platform to pay for fees, creating and issuing tokens for the projects, listing them on Realio X, their uh, DEX um, and trading fee, payments, discounts, ETC. RIO will also function as the native gas of the Realio network. So keep in mind, it's the utility of that. That's what RIO is. The utility function is just continuing on here. Payment of asset tokenization fees, delegating the stake with a member organization, participating block rewards, um, airdrops, again, staking on Realio X, again, transfer fees. It's, it's the gas. Um, users must stake RIO to become market makers and earn market maker rewards. Market makers are issued as uh, new RIO tokens. Users do not need to be a market maker to receive taker fees for mark maker orders. Okay, now this is the other, uh, the last variety that you'll see out there when you're looking for potentially swapping uh, or getting into some of these LP pools. The Realio or the uh, the Realio USD. So our USD is a stable coin backed with a one to one with US dollars held in an account with Prime Trust, which is an institutional quality licensed custodian and a trust company based on United based in the United States. Uh, our USD is a peg stable coin that facilitates non-custodial transactions involving active real estate investments on the Realio, Realio platform functioning on a pure, fully peer-to-peer -peer basis. So our USD is this network, this company's uh, stable coin. Again, another part, another one of these Realio assets that was not designed to moon, it was designed to be a stable coin backed on a link to one to one with US dollars. Um, now I, I'm bringing these up because two of the three of these are not intended to be speculative. They're not intended to moon. They were never designed that way. They were intended as gas and to be a, a stable coin. The only 
one of the three that was intended to have any shot or capability of mooning, if you will, if that's what you're looking at into this investment, is the RST token. Okay, keep in mind. Now, again, this is not investment advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just educational. We've been di taking a dive through their white papers. This is on page 24. So the, uh, this creates a very straightforward way to trade private investments directly with others, transparently, legally, and without middlemen taking fees. Our USD provides even more utility for investment purposes as the payment token is programmable to take further advantage of the benefits of blockchain without the instability that other cryptocurrencies face. It is pegged to the US dollar, which is a token that matches the security and functionality of other blockchain tokens without the volatility. Great. Um, regular third-party audits are conducted to verify the US dollar collateral value matches the circulating supply of our USD. Our USD acts as the primarily, primary fiat on off ramp for the Relio X, their, their decentralized network, since the Relio issuance network intermediates transactions between digital assets across different chains. Our USD comes with the inherent mechanism to transfer from one chain to another with minimal or even zero loss of value. This is really important. Like I mentioned before, they are on other blockchains. Uh, Uniswap is another big one that they're on as well, too. Now, these are just a couple of the pools that you're going to see when you're looking for these. So this is the utility token pool, the RIO pool. You can see here linked with Algo, linked with Yieldly, linked with the stablecoin, linked with USDC, linked with DFly, which is an ASA to an ASA linking, and another uh, to headline as well, HDL. The RST, the Relio Network LTD, this is the security variant of this, linked with Algo, linked with Rio, the utility token, linked with USDC, which is the stablecoin, and linked with RUSD, which is the stablecoin on the Relio Network. Um, and then the last one, the RUSD, which is the stablecoin version of this, linked with Algo, linked with Stable, which is Algo Phi's version of their stablecoin, linked with USDC, linked with our U uh, sorry linked with uh, Rio the utility token and then linked with uh, of course the security as well too so just to keep in mind here it, it, like we were saying two out of the three are network or uh, stable varieties here we have our USD a stable coin linked with a stable coin okay if you're looking for a moon there um, you know think again because they're both <laughs> They're both stablecoin pairs. Um, but just to give you guys an idea of kind of what you got to be thinking about when you're looking at these and what their intended uses are. Um, and uh, again, here are the sources if you want to take these down from the white paper and their RST stack uh, right down there. So guys, um, I hope this uh, was informative to you. Um, please leave a like, share uh, if you found this uh, valuable information and helped you clear get a clearer picture of what the Relio network is. It's a great um, pro, uh, it's a great platform project on the Algorand uh, platform that I am looking at and uh, I am interested in, in following this along with other projects like Lofty as well too which maybe we'll do a video on later um, but thanks guys so much um, have a great night and we'll see you next time